die Single. Hello? Hello, frog. <laughs> uh, hello? What's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Hmm, yep. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Hmm, maybe you should get some sleep. I'm not going to sing this out. I have no idea what the melody is. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yep. I'm why everyone soundproofed their houses. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good. Even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. <laughs> wow. That's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh yes, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper, welcome to my hair salon. Snip, snip, that will be 100 money. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Oh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I... Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Oh boy, I love questions. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. Ah, uh, I was asking about the wizard. Oh! Yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right. This is part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so... I didn't do any crimes or anything. And I have the right to remain silent. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? <laughs> Literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh boy, I love questions. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh boy. Yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Uh, not much. Just singing outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective. Have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. Oh. Why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggywood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have many other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. What will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. Yeah. Anyways, come back to me when you have my money. 
Oh boy, I love questions. Perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her. Needs five money. Sings really loudly all the time. Everyone soundproof their houses. Wants to be a big star. Is extorting me. I have never been extorted before. What a thrill. What is that? Another one! Not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Yet another ground pie. I shouldn't say ground pie, because that makes it sound like it's like a pie that's ground up. It's a ground pie. Not like ground pie, but ground pie. Ah, Carlos. A customer. Welcome to Carlos's All Things You Could Need Shop. Are you Carlos? Yes. Just like the name of the shop, that's me. <laughs> How cool is that? The shop has my name in it. So cool. My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name? Crime? Oh, no. I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name, though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool. I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we're all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a societal construct. We've rejected it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits, among other things. Wow, that's great. My office neighbor, Lobster Cop, has a picture of himself right above his desk. You know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck. I've been a fan forever. You know he solved the mystery of the haunted island recently. Oh, uh, I don't think... It was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Uh, no. Larry is a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh well. Agree to disagree. I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Hmm. That's really cool. Thanks. So you're like, the second best detective, I suppose? Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? Where were you last night? Just here in my shop. Uh, what about when you closed up? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Hmm, well, sometimes, but I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too. Although... I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. 
Anyway, did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? Uh, the crime? Huh? Hmm. I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door? Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? The parade that everyone has been prepping for. Wow, how nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who's the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right! Okay. Uh... Oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no. How embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. Do you think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right. What should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh. Thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. What would you like to know? Uh, that's everything. Could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. <laughs> Needs party hat. Busy boy. Works really hard. Didn't know anything had happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Doesn't have a hat. Is this... Yeah, this is the invisible wizard's place. Hello? Is anyone home? Sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Oh. I think that's the invisible wizard. They're, uh... Not invisible right now? Or they're just wearing something. And so you can see the clothes, even if their body's invisible. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. <laughs> Lucky you. I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective. Are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh? I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of this bookie. Which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying. I spent ages making them. Ah, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. 
about last night? Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped? <laughs> Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net. Where magic happens, TM. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes. But you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with this blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109 Sorry to hear it. How did you feel when you lost? Eh, a bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off. But then, I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary's taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw the mess in the morning. Interesting. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes. Detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yep. Thanks. I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. What were we talking about? My outfit. No, before that. Pies. Right. You offered to help pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. Okay. Sounds like fun. Neat. Thanks, detective. Give the pies. Mandy. Detective. I found some of your pies. Wonderful. Now there's only three left to find. I'll hop to it. Upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps? Took it out on the parade? Needs help finding her five pies. Last night was on Whizbay bidding for shoes. Someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Scold me about fashion fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. Hmm. Yeah, they did say that, like, I'm the only real witch around here. Other people are into spooky things, but they're a real witch. Now, I mean, a witch and a wizard aren't the same, but, like, maybe they're angry at the wizard? Maybe they think the wizard is not a real witch or something? Did I just see something pop out? back there? Back here? I swear I just saw something. Hmm. Nah, I shouldn't bother them still. Yeah, where am I going to find three more pies? Oh, those shoes are pretty amazing, to be fair. Could they be hidden amongst these things? Ah! Flower pots. Ah! 
hidden in plain sight. I'd like to think these are Doritos. Or those weird triangle bits of cheese. Oh, hey! There's one on a light! Still gotta talk to you. Yeah, they're the only person I haven't spoken with yet. All of them? I think so. Yeah, that looks like all of them. Wow. You must have searched far and wide. I searched this general vicinity, yes. Wow, we. Thanks, Detective. As promised. Here's one money. I don't think you ever promised payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you a pie, too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. You can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense. Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure. Thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. Fresh pie. It's fresh because it's been picked up off the ground and cleaned. <laughs> Amazing baker. Before we go and give the pie to Victor back here, let's speak with you. Naughty. Hmm. What? Huh? Who are you? The detective. Oh, I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No, but I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa! Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. Was it you that asked for me to come? No. I would have asked for a lobster cop. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening. Okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. So how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh, oh heck, how do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here. But that house has been empty for ages. I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, she kind of came at a weird time of night. And I... Well... I thought that she was a ghost. Oh. Yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I tried to vacuum her up. With a vacuum put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Um, please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. But you should probably apologize. Okay. Sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah. 
That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. If I only had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh no. Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. Will do. Do you have more questions? Hmm. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh. But I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yep. And... She's a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway. Try to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. Needs a rug. Thinks I can read minds. I can't. The mayor. Hired a cool band to play the parade. Attacked the wizard. Want to know what I kind of suspect happened? I think the person with the van... Like, someone mentioned that they saw a van and... Like, somebody holding a box or something like that. Over by the entrance to Warlock Woods. That sounds like the wizard just moving in. What if everything being knocked over? What if that wasn't due to anybody? What if it was just like, I don't know, a really strong gust of wind or there was a storm or something? Give the pie. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. Uh, for example, I think your jumper is outdated. Victor, I am not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right, it's retro. Not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you from Mandy. It's not from the ground. Nope. Mandy gave me a fresh one. Seriously? Score. Yep. Please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. And I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep. You have beautiful eyes. Oh wow, thank you. It's true. And I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. You're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm. I have a spare party hat I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it. Alas, my head is simply too weird a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, because my voice is getting pretty tired. I love this game, it's so nice. It's just so pleasant and fun and funny and silly and just a joy to go around and experience. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to give the party hat to Carlos.